I'm so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm so happy to be here right now. We, uh, we ran into each other uh, at dinner uh, not too long ago, but I, I first found him when you did this huge quarantine club, this party, and I was, I was listening to it. Uh, Corey Gamble called me and said, you gotta jump on, he's doing this cool thing. And I mean, what a phenomenon that's turned out to be. It's been uh, a beautiful experience. First of all, I have to thank you because you were part of the reason why so many people joined in. When I, when I started my party, you posted about it. You said, hey, this guy has a cool party going on. You guys should go there. And then my followers went from like 300,000 to like 1.1 million in like <laughs> less than a day, which is insane. But it's, it's, um, it's been a, a great experience well, to do. Well, there's a lot of people. It was the, uh, uh, Michelle Obama. There's yes. a lot of people that jumped on there. Absolutely. We had Michelle Obama. We had Rihanna. We had uh, Vice President Harris. We had President Joe Biden in there. And, uh, and you were there. Yeah. Yes. Well, because it was very cool. It was amazing. Um, but what a huge deal this became. Like, I mean, I, I, I'd say, could you imagine that? But probably not. No, no, no. I mean, when I, when I started Club Quarantine, uh, you know, just like everyone else, I was quarantined at home alone. And, you know, I was sitting, sitting in my kitchen, opened my laptop up, turned on the application, and then it, you know, people started to pretend that they were in this virtual party. And what I realized was that this was the first time that, you know, all of my years of DJing, you know, I played everywhere, the inaugural ball for, for you know, um, Barack Obama to Super Bowl to the, you know, Oscar after parties. But this was the first, first time that I threw something through a party that people actually came to celebrate with me. So it's a beautiful feeling. Yeah. And you've been in the industry a long time. I think people know you now as a DJ, but you've been here doing a lot of different things. Yes, um, don't judge me, I'm a little older. I started out in 1986 with a group called Boogie Down Productions. And, um, you know, thank you, thank you, BDP. And, you know, we sold millions of records and I dropped two solo albums and did very well with that. And then I, I started, you know, my photography career. Then I started a web development company where I built websites for, I did Alicia Keys, Diary of Alicia Keys. I was doing online marketing for Reebok. And, um, and then I decided to get into DJing in 2004, um, really because of Mark Ronson and Q-Tip. I heard them playing music that I enjoyed hearing. And I was like, wow, I really want to do that. And, you know, it's been almost 20 years. And not, a, not bad for 20 years in DJing. Not bad at all. And now <laughs> you're going to go on tour. You're setting that up for 2022. How's that going? Oh my gosh, this is, I didn't know what went into actually, you know, planning a tour, you know, but the, I started out doing my first live show, which was at the Hollywood Bowl, and we sold that out. I sold 10,000 tickets in like an hour. And that was, um, yeah, and, uh, which, was, which was a beautiful experience. And, and, you know, it ended up selling out in like three days. And I decided to like take this on the road because the demand was there and we're planning that tour for uh, first quarter of 2022. So I'm That's excited. That's fantastic. And you're a dad and I know that you just did something with your daughter, which is very cool. So now you have kids interested as well. Yes. So, which is funny, you know, the, um, last Halloween was the first Halloween during the pandemic, obviously. And I started getting tagged by all of these people. And it was like all of these little kids dressed up as me for Halloween with the hats on and and um, of course, I always, you know, spotlight my daughters. You know, I have two daughters, uh, Ashley and Dylan. Uh, Ashley, which is awesome, she was the one that would tell me anytime a, a celeb came in. So I was giving the shout outs because of my daughter. And Dylan, people just love her because she likes to co-DJ with me, which is why we did like the Disney show together. Yeah. Um, and she was my co-DJ hype girl. And, and it's been great to be able to do something that resonates with not only someone that's 80 years old, but also with their grandchildren who can be eight years old and to play that kind of music that brings families together. Yeah, music can do that. That's what's so great about that. Yes. Um, and so you're known for your hats. I am. And uh, you're, are you gonna start a hat collection? I am, I'm working on that now too. Yeah, you know. that's yes, very good. That's... Yeah, you can clap for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I am, I am known for my hats. You know, I would change hats throughout my DJ sets. Wait, what do you have over there? I'm gonna add to the collection right now. I'm oh, gonna wow. give you one right now. Let's see, what's, oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, wow, this makes me happy. And it fits. It fits? Looks good. This is awesome. That's really cool, I like that though.
Well, that's fantastic. When's the hat collection coming out? Um, that's also coming out first quarter. Okay. Same guy that makes all the hats uh, for me. We decided to do a collaboration together. Fantastic. And, um, you know, I'm, re I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're doing great. I'm just, uh, I'm so happy that I've gotten to know you. Likewise. Yeah. This makes me happy. Yeah. Me too. All right. We'll be right back. DJ D-Nice.